just the back and forth momentum oh. swap that there's a big rock here comes Romero oh. but a pull counter there Bang! we go we have there it a is. champion ladies and gentlemen Bobby Yours. Green coming off of a KO loss to Jalen Turner Jalen Turner also being on this car fighting Hinata Mukano I had noted a little bit early in the week how it's kind of crazy how a lot of the individuals who are fighting on UFC 300 they've all fought each other or they fought somebody that fought the guy <laughs> that they're fighting or some crazy stuff like that Bobby Green he's taking on Jim Miller we just recently showcased he's taking on this Islam Makashev so usually my game plan is if you have somebody with like Bobby Green he has very slick boxing very good head movement stat based off of his perks so what you want to do is with Bobby Green especially I'm trying to work the body as much as possible the main reason for this is that if I need to take this fight down to the ground or if I get taken down by this Islam, right, which I'm hoping, I'm ho oh, if he takes the fight down to the ground, it'd be cool for me. I don't really give a fuck. But if you end up on the ground, I'll be at a very, very good stamina advantage. Now, it doesn't mean that I can afford to make stupid mistakes on the ground. And I was close. Make stupid mistakes on the ground. But it does give me a little bit more leeway. And it allows me to have an opportunity to do some work, too. So trying to work with Bobby I've showcased him plenty of times on my channel He's very very smooth we're gonna try to get at least two fights with him this time around I've been doing a lot of one and dones but for Bobby Mr. Bobby King Green I'll try to at least get two but first we gotta get past this guy first I think Bobby Green is when it comes to future titles for EA what I, I really would like for them to focus on fighter individuality because Bobby Green not just Bobby Green but like a lot of fighters for example like Max Holloway has his switch stance signature stuff TJ Dillashaw has his signature stances and whatnot signature stance switch attacks or, and whatnot Stephen Thompson has his own signature attacks for something like Bobby Green if he had his own you know signature head movement where the animation would be different from other people I think that'd be pretty cool Because what's generally lacking is the feel of the fight. Like certain fighters, fighters that are, that are, are super, super technical, really, really precise. Pretty much the animations kind of work for them as like a good baseline. But for somebody like Bobby Green, I really would like for them to expand upon having, I don't know, whether you get the fighters in or you have somebody try to emulate Bobby Green. Trying to just diversify the head movement a little bit. That does not make sense, sir. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about that. We could definitely try to present that. Mm -hmm. Mr. Makashev. It's weird this guy is in Orthodox with Makashev. It's very, very weird. I've, I've seen this guy like fight on uh, against Go on stream. So I'm familiar with what he does. It's not, a, it's not anything unique. It's one of those... You slap on a skin on a fighter and he's going to fight the same way with every person that he's fighting with. So... Okay, show me take that. I mean, look. So that was a decent round. It's, ah, but he did land some clean shots. Eh, okay, it's okay. Yeah, a little, little timed out a little bit too early. Inputted a strike a little bit too early. Okay, I see, I see. Oh yeah, and the heck, here. okay, he probably won that round. This is the biggest thing. This is another thing I want to talk about too. Rank championships. Wow. Trying to showcase a lot of three and a half star and four star fighters is those those little point gains and for example like Makashev, not only could you grapple with the dude, but you can strike with the guy. Especially ever since he got buffed after beating Volkanovski. So my my risk using the low rated fighter, I definitely should be getting well rewarded for putting myself in these dangerous ass exchanges. Hmm. Nails the uppercut there. God damn. Something I I want them to kind of switch up. Or at least just more reward for using like the lower rated fighters. Because not every single four star. Like Bobby Green's a four star. But any high level player would tell you like. If you had to choose a four star between Bobby Green and Conor McGregor. More often times than not you're going to go with Conor McGregor. Because he's just a higher end Fake four star is what I call him. He's a fake four star. 
Not every four and a half stars the same. Not every four stars the same. Not every three and a half stars the same. All right, yay. Yeah, I, I got a good read on what this guy's doing. This is, uh... Ugh. It's, it's very stale. Like, how he's playing is super, super stale. It's a big... It's a lot of cycling. Like, I, I watched Go fight this guy, and then... To go to a decision. There we go. That's some good damage there. I'm surprised they rock him. It's a lot of things just kind of predicated on that forward slip hook. Just kind of keeping it super safe. No real adjustments. Just choosing when to time a specific action. He's not really... There we go. Got a rock. That's going to score for us big. Just constantly forcing the same situation over and over again until his preferred sequence occurs. Like that that stuff, I'm not gonna, I don't. Ugh. I was talking about that with uh, the devs. And then she's showing them a couple examples in game. Like how stupid. How stupid that forward slip hook is. Just the way, the way it slides. The, 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 magnet, the magnetic, <laughs> magnetic bullshit around it. The tracking about it. One of, one of the worst things to ever get. Brought back, cause in UFC three it was an it was way worse than what it is now, but it's still f fucking bad. Yeah, we're gonna take you guys down. There we go. I'm playing smart. Hmm. No, your stamina is cooked, actually. Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with. The <sighs> Bobby Green's health stats is another thing about him too. Like his health stats aren't exactly the best. So, hmm, it might be one to one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to grapple this time around. Look, three fights ago, he submitted Tony Ferguson with an arm triangle choke, and Bobby Green. A lot of people forget this. Bobby Green used to wrestle. All right, homeboy used to grapple a little bit. All right, he he took he plays twice in the California State Tournament. I'm just saying, he, he got a little he got some takedowns to him, and early in his career, he used to. Pursue submissions and whatnot. And I, th I think I showcased that when I was showing clips and shit in my um one of my older Bobby Green showcases. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that was smart. Well played. Well played. No. Oh, you're a coward. You are a coward. I'm taking your ass back down. I'm taking you down. You just ran from the ground with Islam Makashev against Bobby Green? You should be ashamed of yourself. It's okay. We'll find a way. We'll find a way to take you down. And keep popping and working. He did get the rock. So we got to do some significant damage. There we go. That was weird. That's how I can throw. <laughs> no. Okay, fuck. Muscle. All right, all right. We have three minutes and some change to work. We could probably score another takedown. Let's go from here. Take the sub attempt. Oh, <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. This patch. It's a great, great patch. A little, little more things along the way. But for all this guy was throwing in round one. Oh, and we rocked you. And we rocked you. Oh, you mismanaged that stamina. Even in the three. See, I was I was a little bit skeptical. Uh, I remember when I first saw like the patch stuff and whatnot. I, I wasn't too sure. I was like, man, I hope it's actually going to work out well in the three rounders. Ah, shit. He raced out of it. But Oh, you fucking coward. I was going to well, uh, work in three-rounders when people are still kind of playing that two-shot game and then the occasional occasional <laughs> super hard combo strike. But if your cardio your cardio with Makashev is like 90, how the fuck did he block that? 96, 97, I think after grappling and whatnot, it's like about 100. So if you're this gassed in round three, 
Still desperately fishing for slip hooks. Get your ass down. And that's a that's a good good step because you want the game to you want to focus where the fight what the fighter does best right that's not what Makashev does that's not how he strikes and especially you being especially this guy being freaking orthodox this is three rounds too and nah he's not gonna do shit with this <laughs> yeah we're gonna reverse him it's two rounds it's three rounds Mr. Bobby Green. We should we should come away with this. I'd be very yeah. Yeah. And we're finishing out with a submission time on top. We 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 had to have taken that third round. That first round first round was likely theirs. What? Showing that shit. Oh, don't tell me we got a fucking draw. Okay, they're showing me pounding his face in. Domakieva. All right, let's hear. Oh, okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Yeah, okay, we got it. It's probably gonna be a twenty-nine, twenty-eight. There we go. Okay, that's a tight one to kick things off. All right, this time around, looking to do a little bit more striking. Hopefully, Mr. Justin Gaethje obliges. Had to pull out the. The two times they place a Bobby Green to get the W there. And God damn, this motherfucker found, found like a bat out of hell. And another opponent that's also fighting on a UFC 300 card, as I mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, he fired, he fired off combo combos. Okay. This is going to be a perfect, perfect person to use as a demonstration. So with Bobby too, since Bobby's very head movement based, like obviously he blocks, he blocks and, and whatnot, but a lot of his defense is head movement, moving about, there's wrist to everything, as we almost get nailed there. But you just have to choose what's going to outweigh the benefits, what's going to outweigh the the bad stuff. All right, certain things, that's, that's really all combat sports, this risk assessment, which is why I always kind of just shake my head when I hear people go and say, um, they, when they throw out the term like 50-50 every two seconds for every little thing as if uh, combat sports isn't always a, you're pretty much predicting what the person's going to do and if you're wrong on the prediction then well you pay for it a little bit that's how it works only time it's a issue gaming wise is when um, certain things aren't defensible the way that they're supposed to be but that's a discussion for another time I have plenty of those over in Canada and yes, for those who asked on my last stream, that stream is, is doing really good uh, numerically, but that stream I, I did with the four-star fighter streams, a lot of you were asking for the rest of the clips over from uh, EA Vancouver. So I will be dropping those as well. I just wanted to get some of these. I had so I have so many fighters to showcase, so I'm trying to get at them. <laughs> I'm trying to get most of them out as much as possible. What the hell is he doing? Oh, he might have realized that he kind of like fell into the trap, huh? His, his stamina ain't doing too well. Okay, well, where did my hook go? But maybe because he circled away from it. Some mean four piece. That was nice. Ooh, try to preload a uppercut counter. Gaethje has a level five or upper. I'm pretty sure it's level five or level four. Either way, it hits like a bitch. Ooh, almost got me. Bobby also loves to switch stance. I was uh, one of the. Many people that were that happened in my counter there. I was one of the many people that when I saw, I think Bobby's switch stance was significantly lower than what it was now. I think right now it's like at a 90 something, 91, 92. Before it was like a straight up 80. But then you'd watch his fight against Fazeev. I'm like, this man does not have an 80 switch stance. You gotta, you gotta fix that up. So, and, it, and it allows for uh, more opportunities. So like going southpaw, being able to work the rear hook, body teeps, sap away at the stamina. Yeah, his stamina is cooked. It's going to help us win some more exchanges too. Still have to be careful though because of that damn carve the Woodberg. But doing good. Doing some good work with Bobby. Should he get a model adjustment? I mean, he, let me ask y'all like, 
being that more people know Bobby Green by this look here, you know, that little triangle beard hairline thing he got going on in, in this game idol. I know he probably hasn't had it for a while, right? He didn't have it in his last fight. I don't know about the fight before that. If they should change his model, um, let me know in the comment section if I should like go and tell them, hey, like Bobby priority model change. Obviously, if he wins the fight, that's going to help, but... I mean, honestly, both him and Jim Miller need some updates. Jim Miller needs a model update, and Bobby Green needs a model update. So, honestly, fuck it. Both of them. No, no what if. It needs to happen. And I want Jim Miller and Welterweight. I said it, I said it in the showcase, but I want Jim Miller and Welterweight. I need a three-and-a-half-star demon. I think an arm's a dumb short, too. Hey, who? Trying to focus up. Smooth, Bobby. Ba -na -na -na. Take it easy. Oh, what am I cross? Skynet. I'm not blaming Eve for that one. I'm blaming you. You got to send it to the Q&A testers. I threw my cross and it was half extended. Oh. Mm. Circle out. Circle out. It's a beautiful snap jab. Jab uppercut. Jab uppercut. Overshot my <laughs> ah that fucking ducky roundos. All right, yeah, I know the devs be watching my stuff. All right, I want y'all to y'all saw that ducky roundhouse they just missed. You saw how he was able to kind of slide back ever so gently after missing that hard forward whiffing ducky roundhouse. That's that's got to change. No me gusta Savina. Somebody's gonna have to pre present <laughs> to me a reason as to why that happened. Yo, his stamina is cooked. That blood through pretty hard. Mm. Try to work a little bit of that check cook action. Hey, movement. There we go. I got to man up and not do it with the block. Check. See my leg. Ho <laughs> Yes. That is a counter that Justin Gaethje has been caught with a multitude of times. If you don't believe me, go watch the film. The straight down the middle after as he's in the middle of throwing a leg kick or right at the end of a leg kick. And that's not just him. Gokansaki got knocked out by Khalil Roundtree. Um, Max Holloway countered Jose Aldo a couple times with a straight down the middle to discourage him from throwing kicks. It's, a, it's The reason why that's such a strong counter is because if you time it just right, you're catching somebody with, while they're on one leg. So their base isn't underneath them to really support the whole entirety of the strike. So let's see if it replays that. I'd prefer if it does. Yeah, we, yeah, we busted his nose. We busted his nose. All right, you can keep nodding your head. Trying to see the replay to see decide if I need to skip it or not. Come on. Yep. See, watch this. So right before his foot plants back down to the mat, I land that cross, right? So he lands the kick. I said through the jab, but the two catches him on the way back. And that's a perfect, perfect example of vulnerability. And it, this happens all the time in MMA. Like, even if it's like a light little stumble. We saw it too with uh, Gilbert Burns and Kamaru Usman with the jab itself. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, your stamina is cooked. We can start to press you. Go with the hook. Three piece. Press him, Bobby. Press him, Ricky Bobby. I'm hooked. That hook was sure on my block. Pop it, pop it, pop it. <laughs> oh fuck! Mm. Mama Webble. There we go. Oh, you tried it. You tried it. You tried it. Oh, that was good. That was good. Stamina management 101, right there. Right then and there. If you don't know how to manage your stamina, you should be watching my videos. Because then you're going to know how to do the damn thing. Alright. 
Bobby Green taking on Jim Miller at UFC 300. Is he going to win? I can see him laying out old Jim Miller. I can also see him getting submitted by Jim Miller. Because Jim Miller is just that type of dude that runs on a different type of time than most people that should be fighting at his damn age. But aside from that, I think it's going to be a fun bout on the card. I did would have preferred for that one to open up the card as opposed to Figueredo and Garbrandt being the thing to open up the UFC 300 on the prelims. But I digress. Eh, I digress. It's going to be an amazing card. So much love. Take care. Remember 17. I appreciate y'all. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the fight card.